Hey guys, in this video, I wanna quickly talk about location settings. Um, and while location settings are not as important for dropshipping as it would be for traditional e-commerce, it is still important, so I just wanna quickly talk about it. So to, to go to your location settings, you're gonna click settings here at the bottom left. It should bring you to a page that looks like this. Then you can, you're gonna click locations right here. So generally, the location is gonna help calculate two things, your uh, shipping costs, right? and then also your sales taxes in certain cases, depending on where you live. Um, we're not gonna care so much about calculating shipping because we're drop shipping. So we're not gonna actually be, be fulfilling any physical products. We're not gonna really have to calculate, you know, how much it costs to ship something from your warehouse or fulfillment center to the customer's house, right? Because, because we're drop shipping, um, our third party uh, drop shipping vendor, which is mostly gonna be aliexpress.com is gonna take care of all that shipping. So we really only care about locations uh, for the sake of sales tax, but we'll talk a little bit more about sales tax in another video. Uh, but the point of this video is that you want an accurate location. And chances are when you signed up for Shopify or your Shopify membership, you had to add in some kind of address to sign up for Shopify, right? Well, the location you add here is going to take dominance over the address you use when you signed up for Shopify. So if the two addresses are different, just understand that this la location right here that we're going to edit right now, is going to take priority. So we're going to click this and all you're going to do is um, at the bottom type in your address. Um, if you're working your drop if you're working out of your home, then you're going to use your home address. If you happen to, you know, be fortunate to have a, you know, an office space or a workspace somewhere else that's not your home, then you want to use that address, right? Um, and then you want to type in your phone number at the bottom. And at the top, you can really name this location whatever you want. You can name it home address, you know, workspace. You can name it main address. I'm just going to call it main address. It doesn't really matter that much. And then you're just going to click save. And that's all you have to do to worry about your location settings. See you on the next video.